We begin with an odd experiment. Take an object and attach strings to it. Now give it one full 360 degree turn. The strings twist around. Is it possible to unravel those strings? In this test, we are allowed to move the strings, including around the object itself, as long as they stay attached at their ends. The only limitation is we're not allowed to rotate the object. Try as we might, there's actually no way to fully unravel the strings. They remain twisted in some way. Next, let's reset the experiment. However, this time, let's rotate the object twice with two full turns all in the same direction. This would seemingly make things worse, twisting the strings even more. Now, once again, let's attempt to unravel the strings around the object. Strangely, the strings can now be unraveled. This same type of test can be conducted in any number of different ways. For example, there's a version of this called the belt trick. Take a belt, turn the buckle around one full rotation. You won't be able to maneuver the belt around the buckle to untwist it. Yet, redo the experiment, but this time turn the buckle around twice. Now, astonishingly, the belt can be untwisted. Somehow there's a difference between turning an object around one full rotation versus turning it around in two full rotations. One turn puts the object in a different state than two full turns. It is only after two full turns that an object can be completely restored to its starting position, its original state.